How's it going, YouTube? Well, everything's chill, dude. My projects, my family, we're right here, you got it? Okay, uh, then can I carry on, YouTube? Why, sure, sorry, bro. Go for it, do what you gotta do. Cool, thank you. I've been to China more than 15 times in my life, and I gotta tell you about one of my passions, the incredible Chinese food. First thing you'll find over there is nobody orders their own plate. It's more like everyone together orders dishes they share on a round table. And obviously, when your favorite dish finally comes your way, a dumbass on the other side changes the direction, which shows you've got different types of people sharing a meal. You've got the jerk. Whoa! Can we keep it turning the same way, please? The math geek. Hmm. Now let's see, if we take into account h, the height of the tray and the rotation taking place trigonometrically at the speed of pi over two radians per second, I should get my dish in exactly. That was really good, huh? Yeah, I'm so full. And the nice one, who serves your favorite dish when it's too far away. Yeah, the Chinese have no notion of quantity. They don't even care if you end up throwing up. On the contrary, if you don't eat a lot, it means you didn't like it that much and they're lousy hosts. So they keep it coming. What's more, it's not like in France where your budget's gonna stop you. In China, food's not expensive at all. For the price of a sandwich, you can get a noodle soup made by the Chinese noodle master. Poe's actual dad, no shit. I've already been to Peking's most prestigious Peking duck restaurant. The place was insane. And we paid 100 euros for eight people. So what stops you from going every day? And if on top of it, you're on a road trip, you know China's really big and every region has its specialties. If you get tired of Beijing, you can have spicy dishes in Sichuan and then head straight for Canton. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna bust a myth once and for all. You know Cantonese rice with its bright green peas and shiny diced pink ham? Well, all that's just a strategy by restaurants over here. They thought we'll add a bunch of colors and you being a pigeon, you'll think it's pretty and buy it. Yeah, I know it's hard to swallow, but rice to the occasion. The original recipe is simply this, rice, eggs, and oil. That's it. And it's called fried rice with eggs, period. When it comes to the names of dishes in China, don't expect anything fancy. The Chinese are very pragmatic. This soup, for example, is sour and also spicy. Well, they simply call it sour spicy soup, period. There's no such thing as veal sweetbread fricassee topped with tarragon zabaglione on a bed of fresh cilantro. One of the most popular dishes in China is chou tofu, which translated literally means stinky tofu, and it's excellent. But I really don't get the marketing logic there. How do you expect to sell with a name like that? Here you are, here's your rotten fish, and your disgusting salad. Ah, oh, thank you. May I have some more putrid beer, please? Of course. And there's even worse, the go bully bouncy which means the morsels that even dogs won't eat. The creator of the recipe was out of ideas for a name. One day he dropped a bit of his meal, and his dog couldn't have cared less. Hey honey, I think I got it. Anyway, enough of all that. Let's talk about their dumplings. Aya! How can I explain? In Beijing, they have a famous saying, which is It crudely means if you go to China and don't climb the Great Wall, you're not a brave soul. But if you don't eat the dumplings, you're a son of a bitch. Oh yeah, the Chinese put dumplings above one of the seven wonders of the world. In France, we don't have proverbs like that. If you go to Paris and don't climb the Eiffel Tower, well, you'll be like 90% of the rest of us, bravo. <laughs> a message for you ladies. If you wanna win over my heart, it's very simple. Just offer me dumplings and you can be my little dumpling. But this here is just the basic shape. There's a whole bunch of second cousins. The Han Tuns, the Zhou Bao, the Xiao Mai, and Xiao Long Bao from Shanghai. Oh, son of a- What you do is make a hole with your chopstick, the broth runs into your spoon, you drink the broth, then you eat what's inside. Then you have an orgasm. I know what you're gonna tell me, come on, Kevin, you're exaggerating. I'm sure the dumplings are overrated. They're probably not as good as a nice raclette. Ugh. Pixar made a short film where the lead character is a steamed dumpling because they're that good. Call me the day of cheese lands even a supporting role. And there you have it, we're coming to a close. Obviously, I'm sure I forgot a bunch of dishes, huh? It's impossible to list them all. Oh my, lamb skewers. Oh, come on, give me a break. What you want for a skewer? I swear, I gotta go back. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. Man, now I'm starving. And subscribe, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you very soon for the next sketch. Peace. Everything's chill, dude.